Hey people, welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, we're gonna build this. A POV display using ESP32. For those who don't know, a POV display creates images by rapidly flashing LEDs in a specific pattern while moving through air. And due to the persistence of vision phenomenon, our eyes retain these images, allowing us to see a coherent image that kind of appears to be floating in the air. In this project, we are gonna build a simple monocolor POV display. Let's roll! We'll also be giving away free PCBs along with all the components required for this project and I will tell you how to participate at the end of this video. Before we get started, let me quickly introduce to the sponsors of this video, Viation Technologies. Viation Technology is an expert in PCB fabrication and PCB assembly in China. They have supplied to more than 1000 customers worldwide with high quality PCBs. Their factory is UL and ISO certified so you can trust them to meet the highest industry standards even for low and medium volume. Now let's get back to our project. This POV display here consists of 128 LEDs and it can be split into two segments. The rotating segment consists of an ESP32 and it is powered by a 3.7 volt LiPo battery and the stationary segment consists of a 775 DC motor powered by a 12 volt lithium battery. To get a better understanding, let me open this thing up. Now this is the main PCB of our uh, project and you can see the battery powering it. You can also see the switch which, can, which we have used to turn on or turn off. On the other side you can see the 775 DC motor and you can also see the 12 volt lithium battery used to rotate this 775 DC motor. Now, this is what we'll be focusing on for this video. This is the main PCB. You can see the ESP32 microcontroller over here and also the 128 LEDs which we have used to create a POV display. Let me quickly show you the complete circuit diagram for this project. Starting from the top left corner, we have a type C connector which you can see on the board over here. So this type C connector is used for programming our ESP32 microcontroller as well as charging our battery over here. And on the circuit you will find the TP4056 charging IC for charging our lithium battery. And along with the connector we also have some protection circuits namely the speed channel MOSFET for reverse polarity protection. And this AMS1117 is used for regulating the 3.3 volt. And this 3.3 volt is given to our ESP32 controller and all other ICs. Over here we have the CH340K chip which is a USB to UART controller which is used for programming our ESP32 and also to read serial data out from it. Apart from that you can see we have a total of 16 shift registers. The shift registers that we have used is the 74HC595. So let me quickly show you the shift registers on the board. You can find 4 of them over here and then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So a total of 16 shift registers are present on this board. We have used 16 shift registers because one shift register can control only 8 LEDs and we have a total of 128 LEDs so we have used a total of 16 shift registers. Now the upper half of this POV display, this is controlled by the top 8 shift registers and the lower half of this POV display is controlled by the bottom 8 shift registers. On a closer look, you will also be able to see that the top 8 shift registers are named from SR0 to SR7 and the bottom is named from SRX0 to SRX7. To the, on the ESP32 side for bit shifting, you can see that we have used the data latch and clock for the top 8 shift registers, data X, latch X and clock X for the bottom 8 shift registers. So this is all the shift registers that we have used and on the ESP32 side, apart from the shift registers, you will also notice two input sensors U1 and U3 which are actually Hall effect sensors. So on the hardware, let me quickly show you where the Hall effect sensors are connected. You can see the wires extending from here all the way to this side. And over here you will find one, 
two, two Hall effect sensors. So these two Hall effect sensors are used to measure the speed at which the display is rotating so that we can update the LEDs accordingly. Apart from that, you will also see a switch for turning on and off the complete setup and everything else is pretty much basic. So that's all about the circuit diagram. Now to participate in the giveaway, share this video in any of the social media platforms and tag us. We'll select the lucky winner and ship these goodies right to you. Now that you know how the circuit works, you can directly get over to our website, download the Gerber file and manufacture your own PCBs. We got ours fabricated by VSN technology and as you can see the quality of the boards are really really good. For the enclosure, we have actually 3D printed this for enclosing our main PCB and apart from that, we have also 3D printed the stationary part which consists of the 775 motor inside and the complete thing is powered by a 12 volt lithium battery which is kept inside the handle. So once both of these are 3D printed, we just used a normal nut locking mechanism to mount the complete setup over here. Next, connect our POV display to your laptop. Then Open the POV display calculator on our website. Select the image you wish to display and click on convert. Then copy this code and combine it with the Arduino code and then click on upload. You can check out the link in description for the complete code and details. Then remove the cable and turn on your motor and after setting the right speed, you should be able to see the image being displayed. You can also upload multiple images to get a video. With this, this is Ashwin signing off. See you in another video. Tata, bye bye.